how you doing guys Adrian senior here Sin City Outdoors and I'm going to be on a cow elk hunt and a mule deer hunt I have a tag for both I'm out here in Nevada if you haven't seen our last hunt Adrian jr. got a nice mule deer and um, he was in Utah with the hidden instinct guys um, he used a muzzleloader in Utah you're allowed to use a scope in Nevada you're not so I had to take the scope off and I just re-zeroed I think we're good to go um, going out to a location where I know, know there's some mule deer moving hopefully there's some big ones it's the first day I have three days I don't think I'm gonna commit unless it's probably 150 or above I'm hoping so we'll see um, any cow out I'll probably take as long as it's not like a yearling tiny little one but um I brought along my wife. She's never been on a hunt before. Um, Adrian had a bunch of college work to do because he's been hunting nonstop. He had to catch up on work. So I brought my wife, my partner in crime. We're gonna go see if we can get this done. Hopefully she's good luck. <laughs> All right, we're at our first location. We're going to in a place where we can glass. It's real thick in here. I took a shot at a cow. It's a nice thick blood trail. Come on. Let's see what There's at least three rounds in her, and I'm not comfortable with the dirty barrel. So I'm having to take time to swab the dang thing real quick, because my shots don't seem like they're going perfect. She's bleeding pretty good, so I have time. I don't want to push her, but then I don't want her to take off, you know what I mean? And then not be able to track her, because the blood will stick, and then it thinned out. So I find myself cleaning a muzzle loader after hitting the animal. All right, we tracked her down. And uh, original shot, original shot was about 60 yards. Came up, I heard the bull, he was bugling. So I knew he was on top of this mountain. So when I heard him bugle, I started heading towards him. And I was hoping that he had cows with him. And sure enough, he had like three cows with him. And um, she, this one turned broadside. I hit her, as you can see, a little high. And she ran. There was good blood for about 50 yards. And then after that, it disappeared. And then I heard some noise down here. So I was able to find her. She went about 100, about 150 yards total. And um, I guess you were good luck. I guess I First am your good luck. First time out here. 10 minutes within 10 minutes we get out of the truck we start hiking she hears a bugle did you hear that she's like on top of that mountain i cut right went up there within 15 minutes of of hiking up there we saw you know the bull first and then we saw a couple cows with them so you're my good luck charm yes. we got some, got some meat for the, the winter perfect She gone. How does it feel? Feels great. 
first day of the hunt. First day of the hunt, we got the, the cow elk tag knocked out. And now I have a couple days to hunt for my buck. So now comes a long process of packing this girl out. But like I said, like 15 minutes after hiking, we went up, circled around at the top of this mountain. After we shot her, she took off running straight downhill. So it's perfect, because the truck's probably, I don't know, 200 yards, 300 yards over there, so it's not too bad. But I'm gonna quarter her up anyways and pack her out. Man, what a blessing to be able to come out here, take an animal, you know, and she had a fairly clean death. I would have liked it to be a little bit faster, but she did around 150 yards, it happens. As you can see, my shot was a little high. She was quartered away, so it did come out at an angle. Probably hit her 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 shoulder in the front. But um, either way, awesome hunt. About an hour total. Just super blessed. I've been out here for, this is probably like my eighth day out here. And you guys have watched the previous videos just getting skunked out here, so. Let's start cleaning her up. Now you're gonna expect me to come every time, aren't you? Exactly. <laughs> Well, I can't believe you did it. Like you said, we weren't up here very long. And he got it. Proud of him. It's amazing. I always see their footage, but I never have, have been on one before. A beautiful animal. Sorry, right, girl. Oh, we got lucky. It didn't rain on us yet. Oh, you just think so. I'm gonna wash the meat for you then if it starts to rain. Wow, it just started to rain right as I said that. Sorry, babe. Woo! All right, guys, so we went up there. We got that cow elk, and it, was, it ended up being about 300 yards from the truck. So we quartered it up, and we just, we made two trips. So on one trip I had like, I had the front shoulder and the back. My wife had the front shoulder and like a couple other things. On the second trip we were half dead because you know, we were just dragging it. We, we, didn't, we didn't pack it out because we thought it was close enough just to drag it. So we started dragging it out, made two trips and uh, it started pouring down rain on us, but it's all good because that helped, helped keep us cool. But uh, other than that, this is day one. Finally got the cow elk that I've been down here looking for. Big, big one too. Got about a couple hundred, few hundred pounds of meat. It's awesome. I'm gonna go back to our hotel room. We actually got a hotel room. We're gonna go back, clean it all up, have a couple brewskis, and then we'll be out in the morning um, looking for my big buck. All right, so I'll, I'll film a little bit when we get back to the hotel room. Let's get back on. All right guys, finally back to the, the room. Got a hunter's hall box in the mail. That's awesome. I got blood all over my clothes. I have two sets of pants. My wife wore one and I wore the other and you're just covered with blood, but it's all right. As long as it doesn't have human scent on it, it has a little bit of blood, but I'll wear them in the morning, see what happens. But this one right gear, no joke, no joke. One right gear, I wear it, this camo, I guarantee is the reason why I'm able to walk up on animals. I've been like 20 yards from animals and they just, they sit there, they, they'll look, look twice and they don't run. But other than that, Get ready to hit the sack. I'll be out in the morning looking for my buck. Good night. All right, guys. It's the next morning. Oh, man, I look tired. But uh, I came out. I had one bullet left. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go scout. I'm going to get up. I'm going to get high. And I'm going to just look for deer. One bullet. I'll take the muzzle loader just in case. And I left the wife sleeping in the hotel room. And what do you know? just a pretty massive buck just walked by 